Uzbek take on Zelyeznica of Bosnia Herzegovina. UEFA have, are happy the game can be played despite the potentially explosive situation in Sarajevo. However, they are monitoring the position. Meanwhile, in the Cup Winners' Cup, Har, this team in Bosnia Herzegovina, uh, what do we know of the, that team? Well, they, so, so Zelnikar are a very good side. They've a good uh, European pedigree. They've played Scottish opposition before. Uh, they go into a very difficult tie there, of course, former Yugoslavia. Uh, the OK has been given in Sarajevo. There'll be no problems uh, for the team travelling over there. So that's the all clear. The, the UEFA will monitor the situation there. But Kilmarnock are playing a very, very good side there, and they had better beware of the situation. First Division Wraith Rovers say the veteran striker has promised to let them know by Thursday if he's to join former Ibrox teammate Jimmy Nicholl at Kirkcaldy. However, Kilmarnock have also shown an interest in McCoist. McCoist could be set to join his former Rangers teammate Ed Durant at Kilmarnock. McCoist was in talks today with Kilmarnock boss Bobby Williamson. He told BBC Scotland that negotiations are continuing as McCoist considers his options. Rangers season gets underway for real at Prenton Park on Merseyside against the Irish outfit which Kilmarnock dispatched from the Cup Winners' Cup last season. And Dick Advocate has already done his video homework on Shelbourne. I have seen uh, both tapes. On the Bobby Williamson has revealed that he enlisted the help of Celtic's new boss ahead of their UEFA Cup tie in Bosnia. And a conversation with Dr Venglos, an expert in Eastern European football, served as something of a warning. The rugby parkers take on FC Zeleznikar tomorrow night. Off to Sarajevo and into the unknown. This morning, Kilmarnock's fans and players left Prestwick Airport and journeyed to face a situation and a team they don't know much about. Very little. We've got some reports by a very young, very fit, very athletic team, but that's all we know. We're going to totally into the unknown, and uh, here's hoping that we can do the best. I spoke to Dr. Vingloss on Saturday, and he told us that they are on the par with the, the Croatians in that, that's, that respect with their technical ability. So it's been difficult to try and get as much information as possible about them, but sometimes it works in your favour. Don't concentrate too much in the opposition. Last season, Kilmarnock tasted European football in the Cup Winners' Cup and they carry Scottish hopes again in the UEFA tournament. But with these games coming long before the domestic season begins, at what price? Well, we could have brought, brought the guys back after a fortnight's holiday and worked them very hard and then we could have maybe got time to work in the shape of our team. But I noticed this done that a few years back when they were in, in the in total and they end up getting relegated that year. And end of the day, we've got to prioritise a bit and feel that the league is the bread and butter, as they say, and we've got to make sure we do well in the league as well. But uh, it may be too early, but who, who knows? We'll do our best. We know we represent the country, and we want to try and get as many you know, Scottish clubs in the European competition as possible. And the only way to do that is been doing well in Europe. And Marnock's UEFA Cup campaign also gets underway in just over half an hour, and it does so in Sarajevo without defender Dylan Kerr because he injured himself in training last night. The rugby parkers are facing FC Zelzheznikar, I had to try and get that one right, in what will be the first European club match to be staged in Bosnia since the end of the Civil War. Chick Young is in Sarajevo for us. Komarnik's arrival in Sarajevo signified a sporting rebirth for a city which only 14 years ago hosted the Winter Olympics. As Komarnik completed their journey into the centre of Sarajevo, they realised they were making football history, the first European club match here since the war ended. But as they checked into the hotel, they realised the cold reality of what's going on here in Sarajevo. It sits in the shadow of the shelled-out Parliament building, and here on the infamous Sniper's Alley, where so many people tragically lost their life during the war. Sarajevo is trying hard to resume normal service, but across the city, the scars of war are clearly evident. Sarajevo and the whole Bosnia definitely had a future. We are having future already, and I hope that everything is going to, to, to be as it was very soon. I really hope. Kelly last night trained at the Olympic Stadium where tonight's match will be played but the atmosphere will alter dramatically. The Sijelnikar supporters are known locally as the Maniacs, and it's not exactly difficult to see why. The Monarch's reception on and off the park will be hot. Celtic, Glasgow Rangers, and we have had the opportunity to... I know a lot about Celtic and Rangers. It will be a difficult game here. The last time a Scottish team played was in 1972, when we beat St Johnston 5-1. We don't know much about them, so... We we'll just have to be careful and uh, hopefully get some sort of result to keep it going for the next leg check. The Kilmarnock manager and his coaching staff took the local kids for a training session this morning. 
but the real education for the youngsters is about something much more important than football, landmine awareness. And also at the beginning, starting to begin to find a lot of grenades. Scott Lee worked for a charity backed by UNICEF who aimed to halt the horror. It's just the sadness of war. Unfortunately, these people that make these things and sell them, I mean, they should be banned, these anti-personnel mines, and uh, until they are, I'm going to be employed for a long time and a lot of people like me. It's important because, as I said, over, over 60 kids have been killed in the last two years and over 300 have either lost their legs or their faces. So it's important. This is where tonight's match should have been played, but Sejelnikar Stadium is right on what used to be the front line. In fact, the Serbs took and mined this very stadium. The war raged right across here, the Bosnians behind me, the Serbs up there. Football has opened the door for Bosnia. Tonight, Kilmarnock will help them walk through it. This is Chick Young for reporting Scotland and Sarajevo. The performance of all of the Scottish clubs last night was achieved by Kilmarnock. Their scoring draw in Sarajevo gave the rugby parkers the cushion of an away goal before the home leg next Wednesday. Chick Young watched the match in Bosnia. It was always about much more than a football match. The training ground next to the Olympic Stadium in Sarajevo is now a graveyard for the war dead. This is the rebirth of Bosnia. Kilmarnock were playing their part in the peace process and Sarajevo said it with flowers. Although someone forgot to tell the supporters of Seljelnikar, known collectively and hardly surprisingly as the Maniacs, this is a fanatical crowd who didn't particularly agree with the idea of a warm welcome for Kilmarnock. But 55 minutes into the game, they were silenced. Kelly ahead, courtesy of a Kevin McGowan header on the end of Ian Durant's free kick. And just reward for a superb first half from Kilmarnock. Ten minutes later, the Bosnians equalised and Nerman Vazda with a brilliantly executed free kick. But despite that goal, Kilmarnock delivered a performance which was worth the draw with the added bonus of an away goal. Hoyer Power won the night and goal scorer McGowan underlined a new hope for Bosnia. The people we've met here have been first class, really friendly towards us, so and it's been a good atmosphere to play in. So this is what it's all about, these boys were singing the first minute to the last minute. Even though the team weren't playing that well, they still got behind the team to be brilliant. I'm very disappointed we don't get through, but we don't take anything for granted. As I said, we've got to work hard and uh, hopefully get a break. What an adventure this has been for Kilmarnock. They were invited to show Bosnia back through Europe's football door, and that they have done. Now next week at Rugby Park, they have to show them the exit. This is Chick Young with Kilmarnock in Sarajevo.